Let's talk about the mayor of Philadelphia. David, something like this happens, it's a, it's a tragic uh, occurrence. Uh, the question I have is, where does a person like this get an AR-15? Where does a person like this get a semi-automatic handgun? Where does a person like this buy Kevlar best? Um, this country reads, needs to re-examine its conscience when it comes to Congress or the state legislature and try to figure out how we get these guns out of these people's hands. My understanding, I don't know how many more guns he had. The parent had a stockpile of guns in this house in addition. Uh, and uh, we should try to figure out where he, where, we will figure out where he got those weapons. And those, that gun dealer or that gun show should be sued till they're out of business. And, and uh, it's just ridiculous. And I think every, every family member of someone who died or was in, injured in this incident should get together with a big law firm and take these gun dealers down. Yes, that was the Philadelphia mayor, Jim Kinney, the virtue signaling mayor with the Ukrainian flag instead of an American flag on Independence Day, stating that gun dealers should not have sold the shooter that killed five people, including a 15-year-old boy, a firearm, or body armor. He states that there was red flags and that any gun shop that sold him a firearm should be sued out of business, or if he bought it at a gun show, they should be sued out of business by the victim's family, and they should team up with the law firm, which I'm sure every town and Brady are already working on. So, let's look at the red flag that the mayor is talking about. We do know that the shooter was a cross dresser, which is not exactly trans, but pretty close, so maybe the mayor just doesn't know the difference and assumed that this guy was trans. There has been an uptick of violence by trans members of the community. Maybe the mayor has never seen the Matrix and doesn't realize that correlation does not cause causation. Maybe he is just anti-trans. Maybe he is transphobic. And since this guy was a cross dresser, was just similar to being trans, maybe he has some type of mental illness and not be able to own a firearm. That's not what I am stating, but I'm just saying, maybe that's what the mayor is thinking. Also, the shooter was a BLM supporter. And during the riots of a couple summers ago, BLM had mostly peaceful, fiery protests and burned down cities. Fiery being buildings on fire and cars on fire and everything else. Not only that, but certain people were killed during the BLM rallies. So maybe he is stating that since this guy was a BLM supporter, he is too violent to own a firearm. Hmm. I don't know. Well, here's what I think. The mayor is looking to blame a tool for the evil actions of an evil man. You cannot blame a tool for the wickedness of a person. In fact, firearms are used vastly more in self-defense than they are in the use of a crime. Also, I think the mayor is looking to blame firearms to try to cover up for his failed policies. If you look at the most violent cities in the country, you'll notice that they are all ran by far leftist Democrats. And I think it's the policies of the Democrats that have failed, but they don't want to take the blame for that, so they try to blame a gun. The gun is what can keep people safe. The people that need guns most are the law-abiding citizens in the inner cities. Yet, this mayor wants to disarm those people to cover up his own failings. So the only solution that we have is to vote this guy out. We need to get the message out to the residents of Philadelphia that it is this guy's failed policies that is making you less safe. There is an epidemic of crime in Philadelphia and it falls at the feet of the mayor. So we need to push those people to vote him out. All right, that is it. Just wanted to make a quick little video on that. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your week. I am enjoying my week here at the beach and I'm going to meet up with a viewer or two. So that's really, really cool. I like that. All right, guys, stay vigilant, stay ever free, keep in the fight. If you like what I do here, you can always like, comment and subscribe. It makes a huge difference. I also have a Patreon, a Locals and several other ways that you can support me, including blacksalonprints.com and you can get something really really cool all right guys that is it so wolverine's mother